opponent tonight is the Wu-Tang Clan's Lamont You God Hawkins. His new book is called Raw, and that's exactly how I'll conduct this interview. Raw. I'm gonna give it to him with no trivia, raw like cocaine, straight from Bolivia. Lamont You God Hawkins, everybody. Lamont, welcome. Thank you. Thank you. All right, You God, Golden Arms, the Four Bar Killer. Yeah, yeah. You have many nicknames. Many nicknames. Did you ever want to be the five bar killer? Why are you the four bar killer? I don't know. They gave that name to me. They just branded me with a name. Because you get like you get four bars in the song, you know, it's just, it's a count, it's a character count thing. Twenty-five years ago, enter the 36 Chambers. Yes, Chamber. yes, yes. When you look back on that, what 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 jumps out? Uh, what jumps out? The travel, the amount of work we put in, you know, just meeting a lot of new people and different people where you come from, you know, just mm -hmm. Just being universal, going from small to being universal minded, that's all. Yeah, like looking back on that, uh, is, it, is it all sunny? Do you see it in all the positive lights or is yes, it? Yes, I do, because I could have been dead in the streets. Yeah, you know? well you talk a little bit about that with, uh, in, in your new book here. Yes. That, that, that journey to, like what do you see? If you didn't find the Wu-Tang Clan, where did you see your life heading? Uh, I probably would have been a statistic maybe, you know, mm -hmm. like, no, like, like so many of my people probably wouldn't have been in jail. Mm -hmm trying to figure things out, yeah. you know, then, and then, then somehow or another, I probably got tired of jail and got me a regular job, or I would have found a way, some way I would have found a way. You said even before finding rap, you were trying out a bunch of different uh, professions, and you even studied uh, becoming an embalmer? Yes. Is that... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're a high schooler thinking about becoming an embalmer. Well, it wasn't in high school, it was in college, because uh -huh. um, I, I was real good in science. That was, my, that was always my thing, you uh -huh. know what I mean? So, I was doing business management at BMCC. That got boring, so I was like, you know, let me transfer over to LaGuardia to do do do, do that. Try try, try something different. <laughs> that's a job that's always going to be around. It's yes. a smart thought. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're, you're touring right now with the the Wu Tang Clan. Yes. What's it like getting back together with everybody? Well, it's it's like clockwork. You know, I've been with, I've been with my brothers literally. I, I've been with my brothers since I was like five, six years old. Mm -hmm. So I don't know I don't know how many people can say. It. They still around the people they literally grew up with, you know. Yeah. What I mean? So it's just it's just like reoccurring, you know, getting back together with your family. Yeah, you said you've gone through a lot of different phases with the Wu Tang Clan. Uh, you've said at times it felt like a group, and at times it started to feel like a dictatorship, which is something I'm sure Americans don't understand whatsoever. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was that experience? Well, you know, you grow, and you learn, and you live, and uh, you know, and the people that are in charge, you know. They grow too, also, and hope you know. Hopefully, through, through trial and tribulation, you know, softens the heart a little bit. You know, mm -hmm. and that's basically what it is. You know. Now, now you're performing. Uh, when you're bringing Thirty Six Chambers back out. It's it's a different time. Twenty five years yes. later, yes. you're playing giant festivals. Tens of thousands of people are there singing along to songs you guys wrote twenty five years ago about uh, life on the streets, own your own personal experiences, and you're having young kids chant them in stadiums. Yes, yes. Is that how you, did you ever envision it that way? Is that how the Wu-Tang is meant to be experienced? You know what, we get asked, we get asked that question all the time. Well, man. sorry, I don't, I, they're not all original, I'm sorry. <laughs> come on, Golden Arms, come on. Give I'm me, give me. We get asked that question Give me a few bars, give me four bars of leeway here. <laughs> Nah, we didn't know it was gonna be like this, but we just put a lot of work in. You don't realize how much work you put in mm -hmm. until, until a project or until you put your life's work in and you know, just travel and you just travel and do shows and do shows and, 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 and somewhere along the line, it just clicks, you know? It's just, that's what happened, you know? And America just embraced us. Do you think the, the youth, do they understand the Wu-Tang? Oh, I think they go to us to, they, to get the foundation of what they wanna rhyme with, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I really think we like the, the core of, of hip hop. Yeah. You know, the core. The hardcore. The yes. hardcore. Yes, right. Give it to you raw. That's right. Yeah. What I found interesting about your book, uh, you talk about, uh, you show some vulnerability in this book. Not that vulnerable. Not, not a ton. No, no, no. But uh, I give you a, a smidge. Uh, but there's a, smidge. a little bit of vulnerability. Talking about like performing and finding your voice yes. uh, and coming in rusty is showing vulnerability. I thought that was a weakness for a rapper. Well. They won't say certain things, and um, as you grow older, you know, you find out those things is really not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. You know, before, I you never smile in pictures. I'd be like this. <laughs> All the time. Every picture would be like this. That's it. But now, I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so... It, it, you grow, so, you know... You that, grow. That's the evolution. That's the evolution. That's the evolution. <laughs> you got 
Tell me something I already know. What Wu Tang stands for? Woody Unpredictable. Talent and natural game. game. That's right. Yeah, so, I already knew that. That's right. That's right. Lamont, you got w, Hawkins, w, everybody. W, 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 there we go. On oh, the W, right there, everybody. His book Raw is out now, along with his new album Venom. Lamont, you got Hawkins. The fight continues.